roof drain. A typical roof drain includes three basic parts. The drain bowl, which is mechanically attached or clamped to the roof deck. The draining clamp ring, which provides a compression seal in the membrane. And the drain strainer, which is required to prevent debris from clogging the drain. The drain bowl should sit flush or slightly recessed from the top of the roof surface. If the insulation extends above the edge of the drain bowl, it must be tapered to provide a smooth transition into the drain. On recover or re-roofing applications, the existing flashings must be removed from the drain bowl before installing the mule hide roofing system. Broken or missing drain bolts and clamping rings must be replaced. Using a rag, temporarily plug the drain hole. All self-adhering mod bit drain flashings require a 30 inch by 30 inch piece of lead sandwiched between a layer of SA base sheet and the SA cap sheet. This is done in a 10 or 12 year system by installing a target patch of SA base at the roof drain before installing the lead flashing. Nail base is not approved as a target patch. On 15 and 20 year systems, run all SA base sheets into the drain bowl before installing the lead flashing. In this video, we will be demonstrating a 10 and 12 year system drain flashing. Using a full width SA base sheet, cut a square target patch and center it over the drain. Set the clamping ring in place and mark and cut a circle a minimum of one half inch past the inside edge of the clamping ring. Fold the target patch in half and pull the release liner from half of the target patch. Carefully set the SA base sheet back in place and use hand pressure to set the initial adhesion. Repeat for the other side. Roll the entire target patch to ensure a proper bond. Prime both sides of the lead drain flashing with Mulehide 121 primer and allow to dry. Apply a layer of Mulehide 421 mod bit adhesive around the roof drain, approximately 1 8 inch thick and large enough to fully embed the lead drain flashing. Center the 30 inch by 30 inch lead drain flashing over the roof drain and roll with a 2 inch roller to ensure proper embedment. Cut the lead flashing so it extends 1 half inch beyond the inside edge of the drain clamping ring. Using a hammer and light pressure, mold the lead flashing down into the drain bowl. Center the first cap sheet over the drain to ensure there are no seams running into the drain. Once set, remove the release liners. Roll the SA cap sheet with a minimum 75 pound roller to ensure a proper bond. Install the drain clamping ring and drain strainer. All plies must be under the clamping ring and all drain bolts must be installed and tight. Set successive cap sheets so that all laps are shingled to shed water. Remember, a minimum 6 inch wide overlap is needed on granule to granule seams. This will require a wider seam on the opposite side of the salvage edge. Things to remember. All existing flashings must be removed from the drain. Drain bowls should be set lower than the roof to prevent ponding. All drain flashings require a minimum 30 inch by 30 inch drain lead sandwiched between a layer of SA base sheet and SA cap sheet. Nail base is not approved as a target patch. No cap sheet seams can run through the roof drain. Cut all plies and lead drain flashings a minimum of one half inch away from the inside edge of the clamping ring. 